Hello guys, I'm Davis from Mareba Box and today we are going to assemble a storage box. I recently realized that I have a problem. I often time need to transport my projects from workshop to studio and I don't have enough boxes to place all the CNC cut parts. So I decided that I need to solve this problem by making my own boxes. Before I started the sketching process, I knew the box should be lightweight, easy to assemble and also beautiful looking. My friend suggested that we should try a new type of joint for the corners, so I needed to sketch a test version to see how they would work. I sketched most of my projects using Fusion 360 since it is advanced and yet fairly simple to use. It's also simple to sketch 3D models, so I can save a lot of time and material on test cutting. They didn't pay me to say that. So I sketched the test for corner joints. The main concern was the distance we should use to get optimal resistance from release buckle. I cut out five different test pieces just to test them out. In my mind the 90mm part did fit the best so I used this parameter for the box. I came up with cuts like this for all the corners so the boxes could be safely stacked on top of each other without them falling or sliding off. When 3D model is assembled, I look at the joints to check them for possible mistakes. If they are alright, I make a DXF file for CNC cutting and watch the machine do its job. Most of my projects are made on SCM Morbidelli M100, but might as well be made on any other CNC router. Let's check if components fit together as nicely as they did in 3D model. But anyways, the boxes look great and they can be easily stacked on top of each other like they were planned, like they were supposed to. And yeah, the end result is awesome. If you want to make your own boxes, you can download the link on arabobox.com. I will leave the link in description. Perhaps you have some ideas that you would like for us to make. If you do, feel free to email us or DM us on Instagram or Facebook. And if you have any suggestions for the design improvement, I would like to read your feedback in the comment section. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this project, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. <laughs>